Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of my Wood and Stone series for Songs of Six. I'm Arkana and today we're going to set up a smithy in the mountain and let's see what things will happen in between. I do plan on increasing our standards in the city, so we're going to set up some extra luxury things. Let's research something. We have un we have unlocked cut stone in the end at the end of the last episode, so there's a lot of goodies that we are that we have access to now. So there we go. And the smithy. So the smithy consumes metal, and therefore it's always one of these places where I'm cautious with how many benches and how many workspaces I put up to get uh, started with. So, this time it is a little bit different though. First off, the species I'm rocking with is extremely good in producing metal and ore, so I think we're not going to have any issues with that this time. And the other part is... I really want to get started with tool production earlier this time. So, well, ah, whatever, we have more than enough people available here, or do we? No, let's start with 8.4. Or you, you see me a little bit torn here, but I have now made up my mind, and uh, we're going to cram in as many workspaces as possible, simply because I want to have the option to fit in workers amount-wise as I see fit. I just don't want to be limited in any way here with the amount of workers we put in here. So instead of needing to expand that thing later, we're going to build the real deal right away, so to say. If I can't get this thing on 100% efficiency, that is. I highly doubt it. Uh, well, I think one of these uh, guys has to go. Dang. So let's see, if I remove that, we're at 92. Well, we're going to use that room for a couple of extra auxiliaries, and yeah, there we are. So, pretty big project, 121 metal is necessary for that, but, you know, we got everything we need to crank up this project. We have a huge iron, uh, a huge ore deposit here, which we only run with 10 workers, so it's gonna be cool. And tool production will enable us to reach extremely new, uh, extreme new heights, so to say. So first things first, we need to work around the tool usage. So here, tools. I want that nobody uses tools for now, except for the smithies. The smithies, though, are allowed to take all the tools they want. So I'll start out with that. The standard configuration sucks. I, I don't like it that every uh, business is allowed to have tools. I don't think that every business should have tools. I want to configure that myself. Because otherwise, you'll be producing tools like a madman. And they will be transported into... Let's see what wonderful things we have there. So, for example, you'd have tools at your cotton farm, where we're overproducing regularly. Farming, big business. Beyond that, well, my personal favorite approach is to produce tools for a period of time until I can't produce anymore. Until they stockpile, and then I... Uh, designate another business that uh, will receive new tools. So we're going to build up yet another warehouse here right next to that. Uh, well, I like the look of the city more if we have the buildings with a little bit of a, of a spacing in between. You know, I feel like the looks matter. It, it matters to me a lot how a city looks like. And therefore, I don't want it to, uh, to look uh, ghastly. There we go. I could hire in 60 more Cretonians. And we don't even have bathhouses yet. This is amazing. Like, we, we have such a good run here so far. I'm, I'm baffled. So, we're also going to need a bit of building material here. So, let's employ us some, some temporary holders. So, one, two, three. 
great. Some dudes bring furniture, metal, and uh, stone. But I don't think I need the stone, actually. No, well, for the sake of, uh, the, for, for completionist's sake. So, it's a neat little trick to keep the, to keep the work flowing. I really like that one. And let's add up more, more Dondorians. So, by the way, let's see about procreation. Dondorians. Uh, oh, you can breed Dondorians. Hmm. Okay, well, it, it would, I would have been surprised because, you know, law-wise, nobody knows how these reproduce. So we can only get Dondorians into our city via migration. No, not the worst. I love the city already. Okay, let's see how far we can get this. My last city crashed and burned uh, shortly after 1,000 people. When I took up a fight, I shouldn't have taken up. So... This time it will be a little bit different. I guess that save file would have been uh, salvageable. Is enter working? No? Dang. I find that really, really uncomfortable that you have to delete them this uh, clunkily. Okay, so long story short, the other city got smashed because uh, they got destroyed by attackers that I thought I could beat. TLDR, I couldn't beat them. So let's just put up like, uh, for, for starters, let's start with five smiths. Let's see how much metal they'll eat up. I don't want to drain my entire metal production, that would be... But I think I need to reduce the amount of employees here accordingly. Hopefully the warehouse will be finished soon. There we go. Cool. So this warehouse, of course, has all the wrong uh, rates. I wish it would be, there would be a way to delete all the settings. That would be really awesome. Like, I, I love to copy-paste buildings, you know. I really dig that. But I don't like uh, to create templates and blueprints. I'm not the type uh, for blueprints. They bore me. Every time I build something, it will look the same. And that sucks. So that's why I don't like uh, blueprints. But I do like to copy things. So every run looks a little bit uh, different. You know, you get the idea. I guess everybody has his uh, personal preferences and the like. So let's make this let's start out with a storage for all the military stuff. And do we have storage for clothing? Yes we do. Okay. We might as well store the jewelry and the gems in here while we're while we're at it. Might add in the Cithalon as well. So let's see. The place already already filled out. Okay, beautiful. We got this. Maybe is set up. So let's see what we can research here. Or just build up. So we have the bread production rolling. We're consuming all the grains. That's okay. Probably we need to amp up more grain production, but I don't want to produce drinks yet. Big business. It's hard to tackle that. No. What's up here next for us? I mean services and the like. Um, we already got lavatories. Oh yeah, canteens. Hell yeah, we need more canteens. We also need more charcoalers. I really uh, did realize that. So let's put that thing on full workload. The whole problem there will be that the canteen will also need a call, so mm, we might want to amp up here the firepower of this thing. So while refurnishing, I like to pause the game because, uh, you know, once I once you start this process, the entire building stops working. So no more production in here. Therefore, I really really like to uh, do this in during break times, so to say. So I'll smack in as much stuff as we can. 
drop in the auxiliaries to make it 100% efficiency. So here we go. Oh no, I need I need clay for this. Damn. Okay, whatever. It's not that bad. It just uh, you know, it. I wanted to do this because I wanted to get it done uh, quickly now. Or not getting it done quickly. It's not the end of the world. We we should have enough coal to uh, to get over this short moment until the delivery is in town. And uh, not that much of a deep, big deal. So, or, 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 or. Also tools. Let's give the smelter tools as well. How about that, guys? And also, let's uh, pump up the production there. The smelters should have tools too. So let's put the ratio up there. So all the all the things metal are tooled up. And while we're at it, let's do the same thing for the charcoalers place. So now we have now we have the. The entire thing and the the clay delivery has uh, has arrived and now we can employ 26 charcoalers nice so we're now running out of odd jobbers yet again you know the drill so let's uh, pick up a couple of new people here and uh, check out the services yet again so yeah eating services are at a low but that's no problem we just unlock the canteens I merely wanted to make sure that we can keep up with the new hunger that our new buildings will uh, will have. So let's see, cold production should now finally be positive again. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, the canteen is an upgrade uh, for the eatery. The difference between these two? Just warm. <laughs> Jokes aside, you uh, you need coal for these, and therefore they are a little bit more costly. So, what about bringing up a canteen into the mountain? I like the idea of that. So, I want to try out something else here. So, this time, my idea was to put up something with walls inside the mountain. Yeah, this works out too, doesn't it? Awesome. Nice. So we're going to expand that all the way up here, I'd say. Okay, I like that. That's, uh, that's one of the big powers of this uh, building system in the game. You can make very, very organic buildings. I love that, you know. This is one of the things I, I deeply uh, admire the game for. Wait a sec, I think it should be more like this way around. So, how about that? And so, we have nine employees in here. I think that's okay. And then... Let's see, we gotta have enough tables for all that. There we go. Okay. Now just add in a couple of doors. And, uh, oh, heck, we need pottery for that. Well, luckily we got the necessary uh, denarii for that. So let's add in a one-time purchase of pottery. And so, yeah, I've been uh, skulking around the whole uh, clay and pottery business. But I think... Since we got so freaking good people in terms of uh, in terms of um, mining, I'm really inclined to try out whether or not we can do something out of that, you know? Over there, this uh Okay, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I shouldn't do that. Here, this deposit ain't bad, but it's really far away, you know? We really need we would need really need to stretch out far far for that so no we're we're just going to import that I like the idea more 
So here we go. We have a positive production of pretty much everything here in the city, except for clothing. But that's an, uh, I don't know. That's a usual suspect, you know. Clothing. All time. Every time. Whenever I play this game. It's just like that. So, we fetched up an import depot the other episode, and now I know what I want to import, and that's clay. So, we're going to import to a uh, 255 amount, and I think, I think, I think, I think, I'm pretty sure the clay is not being stored here. I bet it's over here. I bet I, I, bet I had that, no, I hadn't had that on the starting spot. Okay, okay, never mind. Then everything is awesome. So we're going to put up the pottery here next. Because we just need, you know. So pottery. Mm. Well, we need something round again, you know. That's fine. I really love the style of the city. Like, uh, whenever we have outside buildings, they follow this uh, pattern. Inside, we have a different pattern. So, let's see. One smart person wanted to state that I could just uh, pillar my buildings from the center. I gotta say, all the wisdom. So, we're going to do this like that. I never came up with the idea, although it's so freaking obvious. It definitely makes it easier to uh, put in a certain amount of symmetry as much as that's possible and the scenario we would need to do it like something like that but this is uh oh yeah these guys here are wrong Arr! oh well this is uh yeah. round buildings i really hate stabilizing them At the same moment, they are uh, they are a pretty uh, interesting um, architectural challenge, you know. That's what I personally like about them. But what about that? This doesn't look bad, does it? Yeah, I dig that. So, you know, I had my fair experience with square-shaped rooms in this game, but the round rooms they are really a a new challenge in a good way, in a really cool way. I, I really. I really gotta say, Songs of Six does so many uh, interesting things in terms of uh, gameplay decisions, like here the uh, the whole shape thing. I'm a little bit uh, disappointed that there's no uh, species preferring squared rooms for real, but who knows? Maybe that'll come. So, well, let's. Uh, Bring out a real workshop, I'd say. No. Why is it inaccessible at this place and not at that place? Ah, yeah, because they would cut off uh, the accessibility there. I see, I see, I see. Actually, it does make sense. Well, 20 workers in there. I could pump that up even more, but whatever. You know, I'm a big fan of the Pareto Principle. Like, 80% of the work is being done in 20% of the time. That's one of my big, uh, one of my big philosophy, uh, things, or one of my big philosophies in games like these, because, you know, if you're striving for those, uh, for those last 20%, you're spending 80% more time. It's... If that was making you happy, by all means, go for it. Oh, crap, I built that with stone. Whatever. Um, go for it. I I'm personally a, a, I'm personally somebody I hate to do the last 20% in games like these. It's just bothersome. Anywho, just wanted to state that. So, uh, a slaver comes to town. Hey, a slaver. That reminds me of a thing. We ain't have no method of dealing with criminals so far. Let's change that. Civics! So we got guard posts and the scaffolds. 
do we want to go for an arena or do we go do we go you know, go for slavery 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 is a nice income but people hate slavery let's uh check out our species but i bet they hate slavery uh here so this is disliked by my citizens and these guys also dislike slavery everybody dislikes slavery in general but we could notch out a lot of profit out of that but you know what for the first time we're going to go for an arena i never i never worked with an arena i always uh, i always sold them away with uh, as slaves so want to do this for once you know so cut stone by the way um are we exporting already i don't think so or ah uh, yeah uh, uh, we, we do we do i i did that the last episode Good. very important you know so tools for example are something i won't export for now maybe we come at some far, far point into the future where it doesn't matter anymore but uh not as of yet. So, let's fast forward until the pottery is done. And so, now we have our first uh, thing on our list that we're constantly importing. That's uh, clay. But that's a good thing. I mean, I mean, since our map doesn't provide the necessary resources for us on its own, we're just uh, helping ourselves, you know. And, uh, well, tools are not full yet. You see... As long as no tools are being stockpiled, the uh, businesses are grabbing tools for themselves. Let's see, can we uh, check out the tool situation already? Ah, uh, well. So you see, that's the total amount of uh, tools we need. 156 plus 60 plus 16. So we have 29 of 232 tools so far. Good job, eh? So we need a couple of more of these. Alrighty, so another piece of good news, the canteen is open for service. But we we gotta build another one. That just won't work out like that. And this place will not have that many employees. Forget it. <laughs> not gonna happen. So we're going to put up um, yet another uh, eatery or canteen down here. In the vicinity of our apartments let's see i think i want to have more fields over here so we probably put that eatery up let's let's put that up here on oh, that eatery canteen or let's see are are we going to need that that's a big question yeah we should do so we should do so even if we over fulfill that's one of the good things about these basic services. Even if you over manage to over fulfill them for a moment, your people will, your your city will only grow. You'll need more about it, so don't worry about over fulfilling with service buildings, unless it's really killing your resources. Then you should notch down. If you really struggle resource wise with the uh, setup there, then you have built too big. Everything else, well, it's just as it is. So, let's see. Yeah, look at me going. Let's get this up like that. This is working out nicely. So we're going to put up... This is going to be a huge one, but I don't care. So here we go. Can we do smaller tables even? Hmm. Well, but... This is so cool about building uh, stuff in this game that you end up with uh, so many organic shapes that just come up with because you you figured to stick to some kind of pattern and uh, i really feel like no other game in this genre has given me such a nice feeling when i 
whenever I build a new uh, a new facility or something like that. With songs of six, six, I'm like, oh yeah, let's build some new pottery, let's build some new this, let's build some new that. With other games, I'm often like, oh come on, not another one of these. So this is one thing I really, really dig about this game. Another thing that I noticed here, I think I have overdid it. Oh man, 93 person. Crap. <laughs> but I don't think I can fit in another one. Or can I? Oh, here goes another one. So... <laughs> so this will be one crazy restaurant. So it's 96 person tables. So are we going to be okay with that? I think so. Because, you know, I really don't see any way to fit this stuff in. But 96% is good enough. It surely is. So. Let's see. Let's do some auto-employment onto the uh, pastures here. Because I always struggle with understanding how many people you actually need for these. Always beats me. It's been, uh... If somebody knows, please feel free to leave me a, uh, a message. I'd be delighted to understand more about that. I, I generally have this problem with this game. Whenever uh, farms or pastures are built, you can't look up how many workers you are supposed to put on there. And it, e it even gets uh, worse and worse, so I really feel like the UI in this uh, place uh, of the game isn't that, uh, isn't that awesome, sadly. Okay, so let's put up uh, enough potters to keep the pottery coming. And, uh, well... If I remember correctly, for the guard's dungeon we need, uh, or the guard post we need, we need armor and cut stone, good stuff. So, well, we have more or less already two cities, so I'm not even going to try to uh, make this work with only one of these. So we're going to make two of these to begin with. Like I said, over-fulfillment is not necessarily a bad thing. So... The other guard post is real close to the mines to make sure that nobody steals something. Okay, so we have to uh, put up quite a lot of armor here. So, 48 units of armor. I'm afraid this will cost me a fortune. Yeah, we can't even afford it. Dang. Ouchie. Well, good thing that this is a uh, kind of a long-term project for me. So we will... Where the heck is my weaver? Uh, my, my, my tailor? Shouldn't I have a tailor somewhere? Tailor, here. So we're going to copy one of these dudes. Probably even two. Yeah, let's do this. And uh, we're going to put that all that leather to some good use. And we're going to make our clothing by now out of fabric. Because, you know, I want to use leather for armor. You know. That's a, something new about this version. Back in the older versions, you were able, you were only able to make armor out of, um, out of, uh, what's it called again, metal. And with the new version now, we need to actually research how to make armor out of metal. And every every game starts with the technology to make armor out of leather. So we're going to uh, put up these two tailors for armor production exclusively. Cool thing about this, we're going to be able to really get ourselves a lot of armor out of the out of our leather in the long run and it'll make our leather worth something okay so i'm just too lazy to put up the haulers here to get the job done for us 
city is brimming. I mean, you're really doing well. The only thing that I want to keep an eye out on is uh, our our food situation because all in all, we we did grow quite quickly, you know. So let's chop some more trees. So the tailors are now employed. So we're going to change the recipes to armor. Armor is a really uh, excessive recipe. You only get a very low yield out of that. And therefore, I wanted to have two of these. So let's pick up 14 of these buddies and 16 of these buddies. So our food production surely needs a, needs a bump up soon again. So let's see. It seems like our grain production is just uh, just about right. We don't need more. Hmm, neat. That means taverns are becoming an option quite next-ish. So, well, let's let's wait it out. I don't want to uh, to whip out too much there if it's not necessary. So another thing that I want to uh, do right away already is I want to dish out another library because I know that we're going to need the knowledge production rather sooner than later. Okay, my dear friends, that's today's episode's end. We got a nice step, we, we did a nice step forward, you know? We're now producing our own armor. We should be depleting that leather, probably. We'll see about that. We're kicking up the science production by yet another notch. And next episode, I do plan to do the whole law department. I do plan to do bathhouses. Maybe another charcoaler. We'll see about that. Probably the tool upgrades do help out a lot. We'll, we'll see about that. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. Drop me your comments down below. Leave your thumbs up if you enjoyed. And of course, consider subscribing. There's daily content coming up from my side. Have a wonderful day and see you soon, I hope. Bye-bye.